Letter carriers for the United States Postal Service are upset that they have been without a contract for over 500 days. Today, a group gathered in Chicago to talk about the money and the safety that they feel they are owed. We are listening to you and CBS News Chicago political reporter Chris Ty is live in our control room with more on the sticking points here. Chris? There are a number of sticking points, Jim and Marina. There are 200,000 letter carriers that occupy city streets around this country, and they want to get this contract done. They say there are major issues that need to be be resolved. Now, I should note all of these contract back and forths are happening behind closed doors. They don't know exactly where things stand, only that it's been over 500 days since their last contract expired, and they took to Federal Plaza in the loop today to try to get those voices heard. Here is what it looked like just around 11 this morning in front of U.S. Postal Headquarters here. Now, the folks here say the issues they want addressed, the addition of maternity time, they want the removal of forced overtime, more money for uniforms and salary. They say that they are grossly underpaid. They helped keep the country afloat, they say, during the pandemic. There's also the matter of carrier safety. Since the last deal expired, there was the shocking death of postal carrier Octavia, Octavia Redmond, rather, here in Chicago. Carriers want some sort of explanation of police presence to keep them safe. Any kind of form of uh, protection from the post service, even body camps, give us something. They have a, we have a postal police force that only, believe it or not, they're there to protect the buildings. Not the carriers. Not the carriers. That's, that's kind of disheartening to us. The starting pay of 1933 is way too low. That's McDonald's wages. It's not attracting a lot of people to want the job. That $19 is really something we heard a lot about. They compare it to a McDonald's wage. As you heard, the highest end of that ladder for carriers in the USPS is about $36 an hour. Consider that UPS, a competitor of sorts, is more than $10 more an hour at that higher level. And that is what they're hoping that their union leadership will help negotiate getting this towards. Again, it has been over 500 days, Jim and Marie. They say part of this rally today is not about the specifics of the contract, but to try to nudge this thing out of neutral. Chris, Ty in our control room. Thank you so much.